Okay, I have two examples in this video, and they're, they're really the same example. So this first one is chlorobenzene. Now chlorobenzene has a molecular weight of um, about 112.5. Now chlorine is an important atom because remember we said chlorine exists as two separate isotopes. 37 and 35 and these have a ratio to each other each other of about three to one and so that's why chlorine has a molecular weight of 35.5 now individual chlorine atoms are either have a mass of 35 or 37 none of them are 35 and a half but on average the typical chlorine is 35 and a half so the molecular weight of chlorobenzene is about um 112 and a half that means when we look at individual molecules, and that's what the mass spec does, it, it, it looks at the molecules one by one as they enter the detector. Some of those chlorobenzenes are going to be chlorine 35s, and some of the chlorobenzenes are going to contain chlorines that are chlorine 37. If it contains chlorine 35, the mass is going to be 112, not 112 and a half. And if it contains a 37, chlorine 37, it's going to be 114. And these are going to have a relative population. There's going to be three times as many of the 112s as the 114s. And that's exactly what we see in our mass spec. Here, our 112 peak is about three times as tall as our 114 peak. Now, this brings up a question. What is our parent ion? Because our parent ion could arguably 112, be 112 or 114. Well, as it turns out, people say, take the lower mass uh, isotope, and this is your parent ion. Which makes, so what do we do with the 114? Because it's bigger than our parent ion. We call this the M plus 2. When you have an M to M plus 2 in a ratio of about 3 to 1, that's an indication that your molecule contains chlorine. And so here is this 3 to 1 ratio of M to M plus 2. In this case, it's 112 to 114. That's a sign that whatever this structure is, of course we know what it is, it's chlorobenzene, but whatever it is, it contains a chlorine. Note that when our parent ion loses chlorine, whether it's chlorine 35 or chlorine 37, it goes to a, a structure that's going to have a mass of a, of a benzene ring, less a hydrogen, a mass of 77. So, this 77 doesn't show this interesting 3 to 1 pattern. Everything is pretty much, bam, right at 77. Well, that's a sign that this fragment does not contain the chlorine. So we went from something that started with chlorine, on the right at 112 and 114 and once these things lost their chlorine then all of a sudden they show up in the same place at 77. So now we can look at our fragments and say ooh this fragment or this thing started with chlorine and it fragmented to something that didn't have chlorine and that's an interesting and useful piece of information. The next slide is really the exact same structure except for its bromobenzene. What's different about bromobenzene? Bromobenzene, it, a molecule contains bromine that either has a mass of um, 79 or 81. So bromine 79 or 81. So this structure, if it has a mass, if bromine has a mass of 79, it's 156. And then the one that had includes bromine 81 is going to be 158. Turns out the ratio of these two isotopes in bromine is about a one-to-one -one ratio. So our molecule, the parent ion, we're going to have an M and an M plus 2, and they're going to have about a one-to-one -one ratio, and that's what these are. There's our 156, that's our parent ion, and then 158, which we would call our M plus 2. Now when this fragments, we fragment to the same thing chlorobenzene did, we basically get an unsubstituted benzene ring, and that has a mass of 77. It has a mass of 77 regardless of whether it was initially attached to a bromine 79 or a bromine 81. So this is again is a case, oh, we see the parent molecule contains a bromine, and the fragment contains no bromine. It's just a simple benzene ring. So um, isotopes, and 
Pretty commonly, you'll have a chlorine or bromine in a molecule, in an organic molecule. You can identify very quickly just by looking at the intensity ratio over here in the parent ion region. Is, does it contain a bromine or a chlorine based on this one-to-one -one or three-to-one pattern?